Mother Nature gave us a treat today as hundreds of people flocked to Jacksonville Beach. Today was the traditional opening of the beaches, signaling the time for tanning and swimming and all of that stuff officially beginning. Well, News for Jacks reporter Zach Lashaway stopped by the Jacks Beach Ocean Rescue Station to learn more about how they're preparing for the season. What a day to be at the beach. Hey, where's the fish burgers at? Keeping beachgoers safe, lifeguards. We have all 90 of our active member lifeguards here. Gordon Van Dusen is an instructor with Jack's Beach Ocean Rescue Life Saving Corps. This marks the beginning of our volunteer season. Yeah. The board of directors walks up and down and does the inspection of the guard, you know, making sure everybody's uh, fit for duty and in shape and looking good. Um, and then today we have 54 lifeguards working in, uh, in operations. Our rookie lifeguards just finished a 155 hour training program. All of our returning guards go through um, 32 hours of retraining every year and then every morning the first hour of the day, we do continuation training every single day that we work all summer long. 18 rookies this year makes this the largest class since the 2012 season. Now these volunteer lifeguards are responsible for more than four miles of beach. And we have 21 towers on the beach now, so about a tower every other block, spanning from 20th Avenue North all the way down to 25th Avenue South. Those towers down there can see all the way to the county line. Ensuring every inch of the beach is safe. In Jack's Beach, Zach Lashway, Channel 4, the local station. Opening of the beaches weekend starts with a sandcastle competition. That was yesterday. We brought that to you. At an annual parade, hundreds of people lined the streets cheering and waving American flags as floats and bands celebrated down 4th Avenue North and 2nd Streets.